Hi Virgo, this is going to be a general love reading for April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus signs. And it is general, so it might not resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, or one of your person's other signs, or you can get a personal reading. All of that information is in the description box. Alright, also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, and sometimes... They can overlap because it is a general reading. So let's see what is going on with Virgo. What are the main energies for the first half of April? All right, we have pride and ego and we have patience. Okay, so it could be that somebody is expressing themselves in a way where their ego is coming into play you might be feeling that a little bit maybe some pride so maybe a little bit of defense mechanisms um, and then possibly the other person is trying to be patient with that um, yeah let's see or it could just be that there is patience that is required in this in this connection So Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the first half of April. All right, so for the situation, we have the Seven of Wands. Well, there it is. There's some guardedness or possibly... Um, maybe some some resistance here crossed by the four of cups yeah so whatever that is i mean it, it does feel like defensiveness um and i feel like that defensiveness is creating some discontentment um some unhappiness in the situation let's see the recent past we have the star near future we have the six of swords okay so there it could be that there was um Something that you were wishing for, something that the other person was wishing for, where things, um, you know, they were moving in, in a good direction. There may have also been some healing. Maybe there was a healing shift um, that occurred. But for whatever reason, I do feel like there is some defensiveness, some ego that is playing out now. And this might actually lead to um, either one person moving away from the situation or... Or we'll see. We'll see. I, I see it more of trying to move away from conflict, all right? It doesn't necessarily have to be moving away from the connection, although it could be. For your energy, we have the devil. For them, we have the ace of pentacles. A deeper look at you is the two of wands. For them, the tower and potential outcome here is the three of wands. What is going on, Virgo? <laughs> There's some intense stuff here um, and I feel like it's actually from both of your sides I do feel like things are going to get better I, I do feel like things are going to get smoother all right that's where things are moving towards of course that is up to you though it's up to the both of you but you are always in control of your own life and you can always you know, um, change the direction of where things are moving or to change a situation, at least from your side of things. Um, okay, so currently for you, we have the devil and we have the two of wands. So it could be that maybe you are holding on to a situation in a way where it might not be making you feel all that great. Um, Either that or you just feel trapped in the situation, almost like you don't know what else to do. I feel like, okay, so I see that patience. <clears throat> it could be that you have been very patient, for example, with this person um, to the extent where, you know, it might not be serving you anymore. For some of you, just take it as it resonates because we do have also the two of wands here. So I do see some waiting on on your end, kind of like waiting to see which way this is going to go before making a move. Um, for them, we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Tower. Which is interesting because it almost feels like there is um, 
there's either a commitment here or a path that they seem to be taking or opening up to. But I feel like it might not, the reason why it might not really be giving those results is because they're going through a crisis right now. There is something that is really um, either tearing them apart or making them feel like like something is being destroyed in, in their life. So it could be in relation to this relationship or it could be something else. So we'll clarify and see what we get. Um, but for the potential outcome here, it, it feels like there's still things are still a little bit uncertain. I do see a lot of thinking about the future and trying to sort the future out. I mean, I do like the fact that um, we have the Two of Wands first here in your energy and the Three of Wands follows rather than the other way around. So I don't see it as being too stagnant. I do see some progress here, but let's see. Let's figure this out. Because I do also see things getting smoother, so that's that's always good. All right, let me clarify the Seven of Wands with the Four of Cups. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the High Priestess. All right, so that's a lot. Um, it feels like, okay, I'm getting the sense that there, like there is some defensiveness, some ego getting in the way, possibly in communication or in the way that the, the, this interaction is um, occurring. For some of you, obviously, you might not be in contact at all. And so there is that defensiveness of somebody holding back, even though it's not making them happy. Um, however, I do see this person wanting, whoever that is, whether it's you or them, wanting to work towards um, being happy. This, this isn't a person who doesn't want happiness. I feel like it's just not knowing how to go about it. I mean, I do also see that there's this energy of wanting to um, to be together and to be happy and to, you know, have things be calm. And I feel like they're not really that calm at the moment. And even if they are calm, there's this underlying um, current of not calm <laughs> um, at the moment. And I do feel like this is, you know, <clears throat> there's just a lot of, there's a lot of holding back. There's a lot of deep knowing about you know, how someone feels or how the other person feels or what is going on in this connection and what it is that they want. But I feel like they're just not expressing it because of ego and that is um, just leading to a lot of discontentment. For some of them, this might even be related to work in some way. Let me see. I want to see what is going on now between the two of you. Let's see the devil for your energy. All right. Six of swords again. The king of wands and the lovers. Okay, yeah, so I do feel like you're trying to take control of this. I feel like you are very much aware of what it is that is unhealthy in the way that you are thinking about things or in the way that you are um, conducting yourself in this situation. It's hard because there is love here, all right? You do feel like this is a person that you you would want to, to be happy with, um, even if things are, do not feel that happy right now. You do feel that bond and you do feel that connection. And because you are aware of whatever it is that is um, causing you to, I, I feel like it's maybe a little bit of an attachment to this, or it could even be, you know, um, that you are being defensive as well in some, w in one way or another. 
Whatever that is though, I feel like you are the one that has this tendency to want to move away from it. You want things to be calmer. And if that means moving away from the connection, well then that's what you are thinking about doing. Um, because I do feel like you have been It's interesting the way it's coming through. I feel like you have been trying to be patient with this person, but I feel like that patience is is in a way where it's not serving you, if that makes sense. It's kind of like it just, it just doesn't serve you in some way. Um, it feels like, you know, there's some other action that is needed here as this King of Wands in order for you to be able to move to a calmer state of being. Because I do feel like that patience is representing this um, this two of wands. However, it's it's interesting because at the same time I'm also getting the same energy here with the three of wands, which to me is presenting itself as something positive. So I feel like there's an unhealthy side to patience in this situation that you may have been showing, but then a a different type of patience is needed in order for you to move to this calmer state as well. So it's kind of like be patient with yourself, be patient with the situation for what it is, but don't allow that patience to be just waiting for somebody um, to come around by doing the same things over and over again. Like if something didn't work, it's not going to just magically work now all of a sudden. So I feel like patience is actually like double-sided in this reading at least so let me see the two of wands all right the knight of swords the seven of cups and the queen of wands so yeah you have both the king of wands and the queen of wands um in your energy so some of you might be dealing with a with a fire sign um, I would say maybe even Capricorn, but I, I, I feel like, I mean, it could be, but I feel like this is just mostly representing your energy here. Um, yeah, see this, I feel like the, this waiting that you've been doing or just this patience that you've been showing to this person, despite their, despite their energy, you know, there may have been this, um, a little bit of a, a rushing, like you wanting them to rush and change this or a little bit of impatience so that's the thing with patience sometimes we think we're being patient when actually it's that we're being impatient the only reason why we feel patient is because well there's nothing else i can do and i'm, I'm, I'm still here i'm still here waiting for this person so i'm patient right well no because at the same time your energy is that of come on come on you know get get with it or you know take this action or change your attitude like what are you going to change so that's impatience. Just because you're still there, it doesn't necessarily make make you patient. So I hope that makes sense. Patience is a very complicated concept, by the way. Um, so yeah, it feels like you've been waiting with this energy of wanting things to quickly move in a specific direction, maybe that you would want them to. Um, and at the same time, you know, that doesn't happen. And I feel like for whatever reason, there's there's a lot of confusion, um, possibly on your end, because of that. Not knowing which way this is going to go, not knowing when it's going to happen, not knowing how it's going to happen, or if it's going to happen. And this could be what is creating that devil energy in you. It just, it can drive you crazy. I do feel like you, like I said though, I feel like you're moving away from that. I feel like you are now at this point where you can step into the more um, healthy aspect of patience, which doesn't mean necessarily waiting for someone. It's just, you know, accepting the situation for what it is and being patient with yourself for whatever it is that you are processing. Because you do have both the King of Wands and the, and the Queen of Wands. So I do see you as really... Um, taking on these elements, which is that of being confident, being self-assured, and overcoming these challenges. So let's see what's going on with your person. Let me see the Ace of Pentacles. All 
All right, we have the Seven of Swords, Strength, and the Two of Swords. Okay, yeah, so I feel like this person is, um, when it comes to doing something in the, like, in the 3D, like making a tangible change or starting on a new path physically, practically, it feels like there's a lot of, um, there's a little bit of back and forth, or there's been a lot of back and forth, a little bit of indecision here, and this person is really struggling with trying to find courage and strength in order to move in a certain direction. And I feel like what they do is they sometimes just avoid it altogether, like almost like ignoring the fact that that door is even there, or trying to push that door out of their mind, um, or that potential, feeling like, well, maybe that's not really an option or maybe that's not something that's doable and then they they go back to um, trying to find courage um, in order to make some kind of a move here to do something and it could even be leaving something behind moving away from from a situation that might not be um, going anywhere just pretty kind of just not being able to figure out what a solution is. I feel like this is something that they have been struggling with. And I feel like right now, that is what is creating this tower for them. Um, I feel like that's just kind of, it's like blowing up in their face in a way where, you know, action is gonna have to be taken, all right? That's what the tower does. The tower, it's, you know, it's divine intervention. It's things coming, coming in, occurring, happening, where it just kind of forces you to learn a lesson or to um, move forward. Of course, somebody can resist that if they want to, but it's kind of hard to. So let's clarify the tower. All right, we have Temperance and we have the Ace of Swords. All right, so here's Patience showing up for them as well, um, or possibly healing. So whatever this tower is, all right, we're not getting very, um, I'm not getting something very specific. It's going to be different for all of you. But basically, this tower is leading to healing, okay? It's leading to healing, it's leading to understanding, it's leading to patience, it's leading to, I feel if this is the person who has been um, very defensive and very egotistic or prideful, I feel like that is going to be leveled out. And not only that, like I said, you know, the tower forces us to take action. Well, there it is, that Ace of Swords. So it might be something that does take a little bit of time, but ultimately this tower is occurring. It is occurring and that is moving towards action. And it's going to be action that's going to be based off of this temperance energy, which is something that is, you know, very, um, I want to say grounded, but just very healing, calm. It's kind of like the tower, boom, and then there's that calm. And once that calm sets in, that's when this person can take some action. All right, roles can be reversed as well, so take it as it resonates. All right, let's see that Six of Swords, because there's that calm showing up, um, as I've been saying. And I feel like, so it feels like you're both moving towards something more calm. All right, Six of Wands and the Magician. Yeah, so this is what is being manifested, and I feel like it's being manifested by fully understanding um, this whole issue with what does it mean to be patient and you know how much defensiveness are you going to tolerate or are you going to engage with and so i feel like that is what you are moving away from and that is what is going to lead to some kind of a, a success or some kind of of a victory i feel like it's moving away from that pridefulness and um Wanting to be right, I, I, I feel like there's someone here in this situation that just has that pride of, I want to be right. And I, that's what I see you moving away from, whether that is within yourself or from the other person. All right, let's see the Three of Wands for the potential outcome. All right, wow, okay, we have Justin, sorry, Judgment and the Queen of Cups. 
So yeah, so I do see this as being the, the like I said, the healthier type of of patients or waiting, just waiting to see the results, but in a way where it's not attached. It's without that devil's energy. It's a new way of being with that judgment. Judgment can also be um, a reconciliation. So that's definitely on the table here. Um, I do see a lot of emotions and I do see a lot of calm with the Queen of Cups. But again, I feel like that calm is coming after something is blowing up, all right? The judgment is also a transformation, which can, um, easily follow the tower having a revelation both of these cards talk about having a revelation about something and so i feel like that is going to be something big and then the calm follows where then it's just kind of like waiting for things to just unfold after that so i do see that three of wands as being something positive kind of like you know the first step is taken something has already been put into motion and then it's just waiting for that ship to come to come back in. It's already been sent out and now we're waiting for it to come back in. So it's actually a very um, positive ending to a difficult <laughs> um, situation here. So Virgo, if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. And we have journey by moonlight, believe in magic. So yeah, so certain things that seem impossible um, don't have to be impossible. All right, take this message as it resonates for you. All right, Virgo, thank you so much for watching. Much love.